Actually, the two reflexes work together. So what if I'm walking barefoot somewhere and I step on a tack? What am I going to do? So I step on a tack with my right foot. What do I do? Pick it up. So I think I can do this. So I step on the tack. So I pick it up. So that's the withdrawal reflex. Painful stimulus, I would draw from it. What happens to my left leg or my left side of my body? I mean, in order to lift my foot up and not fall over, what is my left side body? Yes. It supports the weight of your body, the distribution. Right. So it supports the weight of my body. In order for me to lift this leg up, I've got to contract the mus musculature on this side of my body, or what am I going to do? I'm going to crumple and fall down. So what you have here is an example of two reflexes working together. You have the withdrawal reflex to remove yourself from the painful stimulus, and you have what's known as the crossed extensor reflex. Okay, because what? Across the body, you have extension. So there's a combination of withdrawal reflex and the crossed extension reflex work together in order for you to accomplish your goal, which is remove yourself from the painful stimulus. If the crossed extensor reflex didn't kick in, it's going to happen. You are going to crumple. So it's a beautiful example. Without any conscious behavior, your spinal cord is going to take care of you in that situation. And then, sure enough, you're going to register the pain because tax, tax can hurt.